Good morning, everyone. Uh, thank you all for coming out here today. Uh, this is a, a very special occasion for uh, not only our local military, but also, as you can see, for the local veterans that belong to Bremen Post. Uh, so before we start, however, I would like to um, uh, take a moment to, uh, for a moment of silence for those who uh, lost their lives on December 7th, 1941. It says here, unfold the paper, so. <laughs> uh, at this point, I would like to introduce our color guard that you see here. Uh, uh, on the American flag is uh, Jerry Kyer. Uh, on the POW MIA flag is his uh, nephew, Noel Kyer. And on the Bremen Post flag is Rich Waldo. Uh, uh, so uh, they're not on, you know, any, listed anywhere in the program. Uh, I would also now like to introduce Sharon Hill, who is a, a Marine Corps veteran, a member of Brayman Post, to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Uncover. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. At this point, it is my honor to um, introduce our town supervisor, Marie Sinti. Uh, Marie, if you could. Thank you very much. Uh, good morning, everyone, and thank you for being here today. Thank you also for allowing me to join you as we mark the official unveiling of the Heroes Wall. I would like to welcome uh, and acknowledge several guests we have with us today. Uh, first, our Deputy Supervisor, Debbie Draw, and our uh, board members, Candace Lee and Linda Cole. They are both here today. Our town clerk, Amy Steckloff. Uh, we also have our Penfield Central School Superintendent, Thomas Putnam, or over here, and our former town supervisor, Tony LaFountain. Um, and also, of course, the members of American Legion Post 1229 with Commander Rick Goff. And I also want to acknowledge a World War II veteran we have with us today, Elmer Pankratz, who was a fighter pilot in World War II. Thank you so much for your service and for being here. I'd also like to extend a warm welcome to the families of the service members being recognized today. We truly appreciate you joining us. We know that serving in the U.S. military is definitely a family effort, and we are grateful for all that you do. Um, several months ago, the idea to create a hero's wall was uh, brought uh, to me by Supervisor Debbie, Deputy Supervisor Debbie Draw, and um, the more we thought about it, we thought this was something that we really wanted to do for our community. We thought it was just the perfect program to uh, bring here to Penfield. This wall, which we are standing before, is a show of our appreciation for the local servicemen and women, and it was created in partnership with the American Legion. Remember, partnership is always one of my favorite words, right? We, we do a lot when we work together. Um, I was thinking about um, our messaging today, you know, our, my message today, and something I try to live out, which is the words, our words and actions matter. Our words and actions matter. And I was thinking about the efforts we make throughout the year to honor the men and women who serve our country. We have Memorial Day, which honors those who gave their lives, right? And we have Veterans Day that honors those who have served. Um, but we wanted to do something in Penfield for those that are serving, that are actively serving right now, every day, across the country and around the world. And we couldn't think of a better way to do it than by highlighting 
the active servicemen and women uh, right here in our community center so that you know every day as we walk by this wall we are reminded of what people are doing right here right now at this very moment our words and actions matter so I'd like to turn this over for the roll call thank you so much uh, for the uh, roll call of veterans um, when we put this thing together I, I selected the best man I know for the job uh, Ted Vall, uh, who was our committee chairman, and he was liaison uh, with the town of Penfield. So I'm going to ask Ted to step forward. Uh, Ted's a Marine veteran, so speak slowly, Ted, okay? And we will uh, call up if the family members are here and would wish to place the photograph of, uh, of their service member on the wall. Uh, please feel free to do so. Uh, if not, I will, uh, I will hang them on the wall for you. Ted? Well, thank you, Commander. Uh, again, uh, I'd like to say having the roll call job is, a, uh, is an honor. Let me start out with the first of nine heroes. Captain Jacob Thompson, U.S. Army. Is his family here? I don't think so. All right, Commander, could you and Chris behind you uh, put uh, Captain Thompson's picture on the wall? Uh, thank you, Commander. Captain James Pistol, U.S. Army. F.C. Joseph Tanuous, U.S. Army. Sergeant Paul Krenzer, U.S. Army. And Brother PFC Ben Krenzer. PO2 John Sinus Calco, U.S. Navy. <clears throat> Spec 4 Alexander J. Bishop, Army National Guard. Second Lieutenant Garrett E. Nolte, U.S. Army.
And last, the only woman, First Lieutenant Caroline McCusker Nestler, U.S. Army. One last thing, I'd like all veterans to look at the veterans or the active duty servicemen on the wall and give them my hand salute. Thank you. Two. Thank you very much, Ted. Uh, in closing, I'd really like to recognize those who helped make this possible. This uh, includes our very dedicated town staff members. That includes Jim Kruckman, who I believe is here today, Eric Tate, Lisa Grosser, Dave Runner, Brian Delameter, um, and our facility staff here at the community center. And I would be remiss if I did not uh, mention Wayne Fisher from our facilities who put together this wall himself. Um, we really appreciate your efforts, Wayne. Thank you. I'd also like to thank members of Brayman Post 1229 who met regularly over the summer to help us organize this wall. Chairperson Ted Vall, Commander Rick Goff, John Perone, Rich Sperduto, Dave Strong, and Rich Waldo. One of the very best parts of this experience was getting to know and work with this team from the Brayman Post. They are wonderful people, and it was my pleasure and honor to work with you. Thank you again for all you do for the community. And most importantly, I'd like to thank the veterans uh, and also the families of the service members that are here today, the service members themselves. Um, thank you for allowing us to honor your sons, your daughters, your wives, your husbands. As a reminder, we are continuing to bring this wall to fruition. So if you know an active service person who is not yet on this wall, we really would appreciate your letting us know. Uh, we do want to recognize them. And you can learn more about how to, no how to n nominate an individual uh, through our town website. This was a labor of love. And uh, <clears throat> the people that Marie put together uh, to, to get this done in such a short period of time, uh, I mean, most of you know how committees work. <laughs> Uh, we we really had an excellent excellent group of people and and uh, you know I particularly want to thank uh, Marie and and Chris uh, and now Chris uh, I have more reason to thank him because he knows how to hang the pictures. <laughs> you know, it reminds me of that old joke. How many veterans does it take to hang a picture? Um, one thing that that Marie didn't mention in her uh, opening comments about one of our uh, World War II veterans is uh, Elmer here flew P-51Ds over Europe in World War II. Um, just celebrated his 100th birthday. Okay. Uh, the only way we could get him here this morning was a promise of cake. I can see by the disappointed look on his face <laughs> That there is no cake, but hey, Elmer, we're glad you're with us, buddy. I, I, I made Elmer a deal. Um, the post is a, is a birthday gift to him. Uh, we got him an airplane ride in a private airplane, and uh, uh, that took place when the weather was a little nicer. He had a beautiful day to fly. Uh, and I promised Elmer, I says, uh, you know, look, on your 105th birthday, Okay, I will get you a ride in a P-51 Mustang. <laughs> he came back a week later and he said, Rick, he says, do you know how much it costs to take a ride in a P-51 Mustang? He said, it's about $5,000.
And I said, Elmer, you worry about getting to 105. I'll worry about the five thousand dollars. So I, think <laughs> I hope not. I, that will be money I would love to spend. Uh, thank you all for coming out. It's uh, it's a real pleasure, and uh, you know, to be a part of this. And uh, unless Marie, you have anything more you want to say, uh, that concludes our ceremony. Thank you.